Now tonight's other big story, a special grand jury is soon going to decide whether to indict police for shooting a man with a pellet gun at the Beaver Creek Walmart. But there are concerns tonight about whether those grand jurors will be fair. New to 11, Alexandra Lewis joins us live from Beaver Creek with more on that. Alex. Two weeks from to date, that special grand jury will walk inside these courthouse doors and begin looking at all of the evidence to determine if criminal charges should be filed against the officers involved in John Crawford's shooting death. I think this is the only day since I've been attorney general. Um, I wish it wasn't attorney general. Moments after showing John Crawford III's dad about four minutes of the Walmart surveillance video, DeWine answered questions from the media. The good news is that we have evidence and we have pictures. Uh, the bad news is it just takes a while to have it all put together. DeWine's team of investigators have collected 11 pieces of physical evidence, interviewed more than 50 witnesses, and combed over video from 203 Walmart cameras. They're getting different angles. And sometimes the ang angles, you can put them together on a screen, sometimes you, you cannot. So there's a lot of work that is going on. The office's efforts to find the truth and seek justice means enlisting outside help. We're in the process of retaining a use of force expert to help determine if the tactics and procedures the officers employed were appropriate, appropriate under the circumstances. On September 3rd, a grand jury will hear the evidence in this case. I never saw a case where the jury didn't get it right. I have more questions. Not everyone shares DeWine's confidence. Protest organizers point to experiences during their silent protest on Saturday as cause for concern. Someone yelled out of the car, um, get over it at us. Um, people were giving us thumbs down signs. Greene County in general is a very conservative county. Um, and so I guess I'm just, I'm just waiting to see how unbiased the jury really will be. Grand jury members are selected completely at random. Now, DeWine told us today he expects these grand jury members to be inside of this courthouse deliberating over the evidence for a few days. Reporting live here in Xenia, Alexandra Lewis, ABC 22 News.